Uh, I'm going to give you a, use some simple example to show how to use R and R Studio. This is a computing tool. Uh, it's a state-of-the-art computing tool and used by many uh, schools. Uh, so if you can first download the uh, zip file. Now once you download that, uh, in my case, you have to extract them. Uh, so on Mac, uh, I double click them in public <coughs> and extract them. Oh, it's archive utility. Uh, Here, oh, it's at the bottom, sorry. Yeah, it's automatically uh, extracted on Mac, but on PC, you probably have to choose the, the uh, extraction tool available <coughs> on your computer for fun. Usually, if that doesn't work, you have to right-click on it, but make sure you extract everything. Now, um, um, the default version on PC somehow lets you to look at the file before you extract them. In that case, it's very confusing because many students just stumble on that step. Okay, so extract them and then uh, uh, <coughs> open the file. So again, you have to associate the file with R or R Studio. In my case, uh, I'm going to right click on this and then say open. And it's already associated with R Studio just to make sure that's the case. So, right. So. So the first uh, exercise called simple.r, that's just the uh, introduction to for you to learn. So w why do I do I ask you to use R? Uh, first, uh, it's going to look very good on your resume. If you put on resume, you know how to use R to do very sophisticated analysis. And if you if you think how you can compete with hundreds of thousand other college graduates, and most of them are going to say, I know how to use Microsoft Word and Excel. So if you put that on your CV, it's not going to impress anyone. So, but if you put on CV, you know how to use R and R Studio, at least you could beat those say, who claim they can only use Excel, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, so what, what R do, it's basically a different variant of English. So if I, if I do that, say, well, so using R Studio, you can highlight and then uh, click run. See, it highlights and it's going to run the line of code. But if you don't use R Studio, you can use R directly. You can copy paste. But for example, in my case, uh, at the lower lower left, that's the running uh, prompt. I can just type it directly. Say two plus three that's five. Five five times ten that's fifty. Right? You can type it directly there. But if you don't want to type, you can also highlight. If I highlight these three lines and then say run, it's going to run at the bottom as well. Right? So, so in this case, R already uh, stored pi as 3.141593. That's already stored there. So, right. so you can then try. It. So first, it's going. To, this is going to be a much fancier calculator. So it do a lot of things like phi to the third power. And basically means five times three times, right? Multiplying three times. Now you, you can also <coughs> do log. So this is log pi. Right. So you, what if you do log ten? You can do log ten, say a hundred. So you can also do exponential function. So exponential of zero that should be one. Exponential of pi, I don't know, but. Hopefully it's twenty three point one four something. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, you can also do square root. Well, square root uh, you can also use uh, the power version, right? So, you so point five uh, square, point five power is one point seven. That should be the square. They should these two numbers should be the same, right? So, square root of point five and point five is power of pi. That these two numbers should be the same. In fact, I can verify this. Uh, instead of equal, I'm going to say the logical. Does these two, is these two are the same? It actually says two. This two is the same, right? So it's actually also do logical uh, detection, ha has logical uh, features. And 
Okay, square root of 100, that should be, oops, where did that go? Uh, square root of 100, that should be 2. Right? So, uh, same thing, square root of 0.5, that's basically. So, now, now R is also a programming language. Instead of uh, using a GUI, you can actually use the write, tell, the, tell R what to do. So, this is 1 to 10, right? So, if I type X, I run x equal 1 to 10 on the right you will see here x equal 1 to 10 if you type it here you also see x equal 1 to 10 right. so you can also not but here uh, the equal sign really means assignment so so what I what I'm doing here I'm going to so there's a variable called x now in the computer the x is 1 to 10 now this time, if I say z equal 1 to 15, and then if you type z, z is actually 1 to 15. Right? So basically, those are called assignments. So you can let computer remember x is what. Uh, in my case, I have to remember everybody's name. I know wh which person is capable of doing something or her performance. Uh, right? Basically, same thing. I, we have to give a name to something. Right? So, all right. So. Now, there's, there's, there's many features here. In, in this case, I tell x is 3 to 10, but how long is x? It actually have eight members in this list. So that's called, uh, that's a function of length. Now, how do, I, how do I look for help? If I'm lost, I don't know what to do, I type the question command to look for seek. The sequence, for example, there is a command called seek and then on the right hand side you will see a menu for the seek right so <coughs> seek basically is uh, for sequence generated blah blah this lot i'm not going to but what's the help command for <coughs> length basically say get the length of the vector of the list okay. that's what the, the <coughs> length commander does <coughs> So now here's the interesting part. In in most of programming language, there's something called the assignment. So here, if I say x plus one equal x, it doesn't make sense mathematically. Right? Make perfect sense in programming language. What I'm telling the computer to do is say, I'm going to take the x plus one and then uh, assign the x again. So so. Right. So I'm not so. After so, if I type type the x x is three to ten, but if I say x equal x plus one, that's what the x uh, x now is four to eleven. So that equal sign here is is called assignment. <coughs> that not, if I to take two equal x equal x plus one, that's a logical, that's a false. So the double equal sign is actually to see are these two the same or not? But the single equal sign is called assignment. Okay, so now you, you may wonder why do I teach you to do this? Now here, here, if I so R is really sophisticated too. So people at the CDC, people at Goldman Sachs, they use this in all their work. In fact, if you uh, ask your friends at Emory or Georgia Tech, they all learn some one form or other computing tool. At Emory, all the social science, all the stat people learn uh, R. At Georgia Tech, they, 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 they also learn R, but they also learn MATLAB for because they are engineering school. But in, in our case, in my case, <coughs> you are a biology student, I teach you use R. So R has many useful tool. For example, if I want to plot x and y, I just type the command plot, they, they're going to pop up. Right. <coughs> if I say, right. yeah. so it, it's much easier than Excel, once you learn how to do that. And for this, okay, that's a simple R, so I'm going to 